And we're on the open seas. Miss Sunday, Grey Worm. Oh. Look at his chubby little face, being all happy. Oh, that's fucked up. No, it's not, is it? Yeah. Light bringer. He brings light to everyone and brings them together. Yeah. He's the most. No, he honestly is the most deserving of the throne. Like something that Naruto once taught me. Okay, it's it, it, the person who wants to become Hokage does not become uh, does you know does not become Hokage. The person who becomes Hokage is the one that people love and respect. So yeah, it's kind of similar in this case. Like. John doesn't want to be the king, but people love him, so... Does she, though? Yeah. Cousins are, I mean... No. And... Yeah, so do I. This is probably the best scene that these two have had in, in ages. Back home. What the fuck? What? What? No. 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 I'm sorry, what? How the fuck did he shoot the arrows from behind a. No, she's pissed. How the hell did these guys not see these guys from all, from all that far? Like. How have these dragons not learned to do fireballs for fuck's sake? No, I'm sorry. What the fuck was that? What the- this two just became Hawkeye all of a sudden, like, again, I read- I read- I read the spoilers for this, but I didn't fucking believe them, no. The fuck was that? You got the fucking cliff here, and somehow the arrows go through and hit- what? And how the fuck was he able to reload that shit in, like, two seconds to fire three rounds straight away, boom, 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 like... The fuck is going on? This episode was going good, and now- what the fuck? I'm not, 
I'm not happy about that. That's fucking ridiculous. How do you how do you kill off Ray 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 go like that? What? I'm fucking confused. Oh, for fuck's sake, no. I hate you, Ron. He's such a little bitch. They just pull a season one, boom, Nocturian out, and then we don't see the aftermath, like... No, I don't mind it. Save that budget in it, but... Very survived! Tyrion survived! He should have, a bl he should have blood flowing down his face. Grey Worm. Did their fleet seriously just get annihilated? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, what a bitch lying like that. Oh, he's gonna kill her. He's gonna kill her when he finds out it's not his kid. Fucked up. Are you kidding me? Like, of all the people they captured, they could have kept it. <sighs> it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Innocence. No, fuck the innocence. No, you protected the north and off. Fuck the rest. There is no saving King's Landing. It's a shithole. Destroy the Red Creep and bring the people of Essos over, and then boom. And you're becoming a tyrant yourself by doing it. No, no, no. You think it's your destiny, but it's really not. Oh, man. I hope oh, Varys don't do anything stupid. I like his character, but, like...
No, I agree with that. Fucking ridiculous, man. Utterly fucking ridiculous. And there's still 18 minutes left. Oh my god. And now she only has one. That's actually an interesting question. No. I don't know. But <sighs> oh, they're going to get killed for this. didn't want to rule and he was a shit ruler so Yeah, that's the smartest thing they can do, like, oh, for fuck's sake. Don't, mate. You lost all hope. No, she won't. This is the nearest we're talking about. When, 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 when Barristan died, she went nuts. She went nuts. To the people. is fighting for the common people, man, like... Oh, God damn it! This is a good scene. I like it. No, I kind of agree with Tyrion, don't, because it's gonna get him killed. Oh God. <sighs> Why are we back at Winterfell? Oh, 
What a bit. Oh god. Why is he looking sad? Fuck's sake. What's Jamie doing? Yeah. You're ten times better. Please don't die with her. Please stay here. Oh god, listen to Brienne. Listen to Brienne, for fuck's sake. Yes. You are now. No, you wouldn't have. No, you wouldn't have. You're chatting shit. My battery's about to run out. Oh, don't say that. No. He's chatting shit. He's chatting shit. He's going... Anyone who's read the books knows that the little brother is supposed to kill Cersei. So I'm thinking he's chatting shit. He's going to King's Landing to kill her. He's not going there to save her, he's going to go there to kill her. I just hope he doesn't die in the process. I'm going to stop it here and we put bloody battery in my camera. Now again for the final 10 minutes, so here we go. Various Grey Worm. Very, very... Danny, Tyrion. Mountain, Euron, Cersei, Cod, no. See, I knew Melissa, um, um, I knew Miss Sunday was gonna die, but I honestly thought it would be last episode, not. Look at that. They got all the boats. Look how, look how she's prepared the defense of the city, like, and then compared to Winterfell, like, Jesus. Drogon's all the way in the back, they could kill everyone right now, like, what the fuck's stopping them from doing that? No, seriously, this is stupid, what's stopping Cersei from just not killing them all right away, like... Kyburn. Hand, hand of the Queen talking to the Hand of the Queen.
demands to Nevis's unconditional surrender. If she refuses, we send their dance to die there. That's fucked up. Die back? You're a rational man. Of course, sir, I flatter myself. We have a chance here. Perhaps our last chance to avoid carnage. Yes. That will help me. I don't want to see this thing burn. And no, he would know. Carbon doesn't give a shit about the people. Right, for a little guy, you're nuts. What's stopping Miss Sunday from just jumping off and like running for it? I mean, okay, she'll break her legs, but still. Or just, or just grab Cersei and throw them both down, like, done. Cersei's a bitch, she just likes to torture them, like, that's all it is. You don't, you're an idiot if you Yo, get away from the camera, Loki. No, she did, she No reaction to Euron being like, what the fuck? How does she... Danny could technically surrender because she's not the rightful queen. Bitch.
jump off and take Cersei with you. That's what I would have done. Fuck. Oh. Burn, burn everything, basically. Just go nuts and kill everyone. Oh, fuck's sake. Get a spear and throw it at him or something, like, fuck. Oh, wow, her head literally. Oh, wow, it's fucked. Ah, oh, man, poor. Poor Grey Worm. What a bitch. What a fucking bitch. Yeah, you've just woken up the dragon. Well done. She's just lost so many things right now. Like, you've pissed her off. She's gonna kill everyone. Rest in peace, Missande, and... No, Rhaegal can't be fucking dead. I don't believe that. That's such fucking bullshit. Like... Where, where do I even begin with this episode? It wasn't bad, as I thought it would be. Like, Jesus Christ, the reactions on the Reddit forums was nuts. People were losing their shit on this episode. Like, but it wasn't that bad. It started off good. The, the only things that pissed me off was the lack of reactions to to the John reveal. That was a piss take on away from that. John didn't pet Ghost to anything. That that's a piss take. Unless unless John and Ghost reunite at some point, in which case fire, that's that's alright. Um Rhaegal getting shot down like that, that was what the fuck was that? I think that's hands down the worst part of the episode. Like I fucking hated that. And, and yeah, the lack of reaction, for, I, I thought we would see you on and be like, what? How does he know that you're pregnant and that, etc, etc. But yeah, just those three points, like, really pissed me off, like. The Rhaegal one was the worst one, I thought, like, and second would definitely be the freaking, oh. Next, next week. No, oh, John's arrived there. Is this Bravo's like? Oh no, it's Jack. What was that about? Euron looked look shit scared. Like, like he didn't. He couldn't believe his eyes. Like. Rhaegal better be fucking alive. I don't care how, like, he better come out and he better have his wounds and shit healed and just be scarred up and that, like, he better not be dead. That or Danny somehow awakens the stone dragons on Dragonstone. That would be, that would be fucking dope if that happened. But, uh, what com yeah, this episode wasn't that bad, actually. Like, there were flaws, obviously. There was a bit of rushness to it, but it wasn't that bad. So yeah, my quick review then. As I, as I said, uh, the the lack of the John reveal and just cutting away from that, that that's a fucking joke. That that's just so fucking dis disrespectful. After all the build up and years of wanting to waiting for that to like to see what the reactions would be, and we don't even get a reaction to that. Uh, Sansa's a fucking idiot, telling Tyrion, and the Tyrion tells Varys. Like, yeah, she just she's just. She's not a good person, honestly. She's not a good fucking person. She's playing the game in her own way, and she's just a cold-hearted bitch now, like, which which makes sense. But yeah, she's just a cold-hearted bitch for some reason now, like. And and Danny was always the mad. She was always a mad queen. Like I said, when Selmy, when Barristan died, she went completely off the fucking rails, and that was what that was season five as well. So like, and there's always been those moments where she's just fucking psychotic, like, like. Like when one of our own, when she executed one of our own bloody people, and didn't even you know, didn't give him a fair trial or anything, and just had him killed, and then, 
Like, she's never been smart at ruling, technically speaking, like... And the whole... The Dothraki and shit, and the way she got them on her side, like... You know, like... Yeah, she's, she's, she's not smart, I'm sorry, like... If anyone's complaining about uh, how she's reverted to this fucked up state of mind, she's always had that state of mind. And various and Tyrion have not been able to calm her down. Jon hasn't been able to really calm her down, like... She's just determined to have that throne, like, that's all she's really cared about. And, yeah, she's a psychotic bitch for it, like... So it's no surprise that she's gonna go Mad Queen next episode and that. And, that, you know, that's honestly justified. The amount of shit she lost the last episode and this episode just makes a lot of sense. But Rhaegar better not be fucking dead, like, that's just ridiculous. I'm hoping that preview was, was Euron seeing, like, two or more dragons wave and him realising, oh, he, he fucked up, like... Um... Yeah, I didn't get the ending. Why didn't they just kill everyone right there and there? Was was just Cersei trying to keep the peace in a way? Like, like if she did that, the people would turn against her straight away or something like that. So she was trying to be the better person by not doing that. I don't know. It's just it just seems like a perfect waste of time. Like when she could have just killed everyone right there and there. Um, again, uh, not the worst episode I've seen, but yeah, not the, not the best one either. But honestly, not that bad as I thought it would be. I, I liked like the first forty minutes. Bron just coming out of fucking nowhere was random as shit. Good scene, but random as shit. Jamie, I'm reading, I'm reading all this crap about how Jamie's reverted back to his season. No, he hasn't reverted back. He hasn't reverted back at all. If you if you know Jamie at this point, you know he's chatting shit to Brienne. Like that, like that's his way of basically saying, I can't technically be redeemed. I've done a lot of bad shit. I'm gonna go to King's Landing and die killing my sister. That's what it is, basically. Uh, that's the only way you can see himself redeeming himself, basically, by dying, killing, killing the, killing, killing the Mad Queen, and he's, he's Mad Queen, sorry my throat, but, <coughs> <start, coughs> <sick. coughs> but yeah, um, I'm hoping Jamie doesn't die, man, I mean, I've had this theory for a while now that Arya would kill him and steal his face, and then she would kill Cersei, but I don't think that's gonna happen now, like, maybe the books will do it, but, um, I honestly don't know how much of, of this is going to be George R. R. Martin's ending, do you know what I mean? I mean, they keep saying they that, they're, that the ending is going to be similar, but I honestly think that's horse shit. I think there will be changes, and this is just George R. R. Martin's way of trying to see, like, oh, did people like the ending for the show? No? Well, fuck that, I'm going to change it in my books then. Um, but yeah, the books need to come out, man. Like, it's fucking ridiculous, like, they're... It's ridiculous, we need the, we need the books now at this point, because uh, it does feel a bit rushed, but honestly... Uh, the pacing with this episode wasn't that bad. I honestly thought it was going to be a terribly written episode, but I thought it was it was written well enough. Like, and the pacing wasn't 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 that bad. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah. Like, I just don't get the hate, man. People are acting just just acting nuts. Like, the hate is unjustified. Really, I was expecting a terrible fucking episode, but besides those those three flaws that I mentioned. Uh, everything else was up to scratch for the most part, so yeah, uh, I really don't get the fucking complaints. Um, can't wait for next episode, uh, consider me hyped and worried, because if those leaks that I read are true, then yeah, this is not going to have a good ending. People are going to be pissed for sure. Uh, yeah. Anyway guys, hope you like my reaction to that at all. As always, like and subscribe, whatever, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.